toilets are so ordinary that people may ignore how important they are and what the cost of poor sanitation is in terms of health and economics. Today, China View has the lowdown on toilets as it introduces you to an entirely new WTO and how China is supporting improvement in the world toilet sanitation. World sanitation is a serious problem. In 2001, 2.4 billion people, or 40% of the world's population, were living in unsanitary conditions. Now the number has increased to 2.6 billion people. Instead of the number being controlled, it's continuing to increase. Each year, 1.5 million children die of diarrhea, more than the number of AIDS and measles-related deaths put together. In the past 11 years, the World Toilet Organization has done a lot of research on world sanitation conditions and provided people useful policies to improve them. For example, in 2005, Singapore changed the law to increase the number of women's public toilets. Men have extra urinals, and women should not have to queue up in long lines. The World Toilet Organization started the Sani Shop franchise model that trains the poor to become entrepreneurs with very small factories manufacturing toilets and selling them to the local poor at very affordable prices. Village women work as sales agents for the manufacturer and earn a small commission on each sale. All materials are local so they can be made cheaply. The World Toilet College has also been conducting training courses since 2005 to ensure that best practices and standards in toilet design, cleanliness and sanitation technology are adopted through training and education. We bring them to Singapore to transfer how to clean the toilet properly, their know-how. And we train a group of trainers and now we are taking this course all over the world we hope to train Chinese trainers so that they can train their cleaners. According to Sim, having better cleaning standards will make people better toilet users. And people who go there get service and enjoy the toilet so much. When the toilet respect the user, the user respect the toilet and their behavior becomes so much better. This year, the World Toilet Summit was held in Hainan Province, which has built 1,139 public toilet facilities using 270 million renminbi, or about 42 million US dollars. However, local toilet cleaners have never had specialized training before. From November 22nd to 24th, trainers from the World Toilet College presented a training course in Haikou, the capital of Hainan Province teaching toilet cleaners, toilet administrators, and some related staff from Hainan province how to clean toilets correctly. Freddie Chu, a professional toilet training consultant from Singapore, has been engaged in training toilet cleaners for 15 years, hoping to bring professional information and technology on toilet cleaning to China. Um, based on their so-called attitude itself, I'm glad that they actually fully participated, fully cooperated with me, and uh, energetically, everybody participated willingly without me telling them what to do. So taking, initiating their own leadership in their way, in this learning, I believe they're going back to their work. You know, by their leadership, they're able to mobilize and motivate their workers. In Singapore, training toilet cleaners is a nationally certified skill. And now, toilet cleaners must have a work qualification, since it's very important for them to understand toilet hygiene and safety. In Freddie's case, workers learn how to use basic toilet tools and equipment followed by chemicals. They also need to understand the proper sequence of work and how to ensure safety. If they don't know how to clean toilets properly, they will harm both society and themselves. If by applying chemical and not washing clearly, by consuming them, then by eating it, they're actually poisoning themselves every day. We were particularly trained in safety when we climbed stairs or at a dangerous time. The training officer also offered us some details about the sanitation, such as cleaning squad toilets and how to use disinfectant powder properly. Hong said they understand international standards for public toilet cleaning from the three-day training. He said this will help improve their management of toilets. Before the training, we generally thought that toilet cleaning was just making it clean without any smell.
But we now understand that, according to international standards, every corner should be cleaned carefully, and every bit of dirt must be removed. The public toilet is one of the most important communal facilities in people's lives. As the first and only training college of its kind, the World Toilet College supports the World Toilet Organization's commitment to reducing the number of people without access to sanitation. It also focuses on improving toilets and developing sustainable sanitation solutions, including ecological sanitation for the bottom of the pyramid. It's fantastic. It's, you know, um, and I'll use the United States for an example. Unfortunately, we don't have something as, as high level and, and as smart as a toilet college. In fact, our, our levels, although most people have toilets, public toilets are an issue for us, and, and little by little they're fading away due to financial things and, and security and cleaning. So the, the toilet college will help if you have maintenance and cleaning will help raise that level and they'll continue to prosper and people use them. I think that's a, uh, definitely a good initiative. I have not been to the World Toilet College, but I would like to see the branches of this established in all the districts. So people should go, understand, and then go back and implement. I have not come across and I would love to start one. This improves the quality of life of all the people who are sharing the toilets. And I think it is a very civilized way if we have good trained toilet cleaners. So World Toilet College is starting to train the Hainanese uh, trainers and we hope to train all the other uh, trainers in China. Behind all Sim's work is a simple theory he calls ABCD. A is for ambience. In other words, a good atmosphere can make people feel happy to use a toilet which is dry, has no smell, and has good ventilation, lighting, and accessibility. B refers to behavior. What this means is that people will behave well in good toilets and behave badly in bad toilets. So the environment strongly influences people's behavior. C is for cleaning. There is always a need for professionally trained cleaners, and cleaning is often not done well. Toilets must be kept clean at all times because the users are putting human waste into the toilet. Without a trained cleaner, the toilet deteriorates very quickly and bad behavior will return. Finally, D refers to design. We need human-centered design. That means an ergonomically arranged layout and products that facilitate easy use. If it's easier to behave properly, behavior will be good. If it's more convenient to dirty the toilet, it will become dirty. So design is very important. Although people have put more attention on toilets and sanitation conditions, and these conditions are improving, more work still needs to be done, especially by the government. Government are very interested to have public health, to have healthy citizens, because healthy citizens can work and can produce economic results and can take care of themselves and the burden doesn't come to the government. So prevention is so much cheaper than cure. A lot of government now start to understand they should stop uh, neglecting sanitation. The WTO started the global clean toilet movement. It helps governments shape sanitation policies to promote sanitation facilities. When preparing for the 2008 Beijing Olympics, the Beijing municipal government renovated 4,000 public toilets. To publicize their effort, they hosted the 2004 World Toilet Summit and collaborated with the World Toilet Organization to design world-class toilets. Shanghai did the same thing. In 2005, it hosted the World Toilet Forum in preparation for hosting the Shanghai World Expo in 2010. Other cities have also paid attention to their public toilets, and standards are now set for most cities around the world. The improvement of sanitation conditions usually goes with some major events uh, happening in the country. So uh, in Beijing, as I have just said, that was the Olympics. And uh, in Moscow and in Russia, it happens all the same way. We are having the World Football Cup, uh, the Formula One, and the Sochi Olympics, of course. And these events will force us to improve our toilet condition as well. An expo was also held in Hainan province to display some sanitary products that incorporate both low-cost and eco-friendly technology. 
That brings us to the end of this edition of China View. Thank you for being with us. See you tomorrow.